So let's yeah. kick this thing off. Your world. Oh, then we're gonna see it. Too. A world debut <laughs> of the Halo Showcase event. Let's kick it off. I'm stoked to see this live. Like finally, all. Me complete. too. I'm ready. It's actually cheap without his helmet on. Now he's true. Now you got it. That's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? <laughs> the sky <laughs> box. It's perfect. Cortana, Tequilo, Actual. Perfect timing. We are all done here and ready for dust off. Hey, keep it oh, down. Oh, all right. All right, let's go. <laughs> You're, doing You're, doing <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. You keep That's driving so like a tailor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, Chief, I'm nice it. on the Get sticks, but I would feel kind of bad <laughs> eating the purveyors <laughs> of the Halo. That's right. I won't feel bad at all, don't worry. Looks like a and I kind of want to see that lobby again, because I haven't been over there. Oh, all right. <laughs> see what you're doing, and I like it. I like it. You like, you like that? Oh, really? Okay. This ring is going to go nuclear in three minutes, Early results. We do not want to be here when it does. Brian T on top. Halo has, the 343 team hasn't driven yet, so we'll have to see how they do. Roger that, Cortana. Hoorah! Look at these ancient dwellings. It almost looks like something lives here. The chaos. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Awesome. We've got a better chance of avoiding those banshees off-road. They're saying Warthog seems a lot quicker now. Hoorah! So, no. Oh, look at that! So well, the... Banshees. So Chris Phillips, the handling designer at Playground, Ooh, yeah, he has done an amazing job. Not, just, yeah, not only the, the Halo Warthog, but like all the cars on the roster. There was there was a time when you know I was tapping people on the shoulder, like, man, you know, do we have like a new handling model because it's it's been improved so much. Really, I feel Banshees, really, really, really good. The Banshees, Warthog is actually one of the better models in the game. Well, you know what you're looking for. You know, a beast. This is Cortana to all air support units. I'm sending you coordinates for an LZ. Requesting immediate evac. Repeat, all air support units to the LZ. Near and dear to my heart, we love to come up with canonical reasons for everything. Okay. I love this. But we actually did some cool stuff. The Warthog is scaled just a little bit differently we actually have it modeled canonically as a uh like a civilian transport kind of stripped down version as well so the cst versus the fav uh, which typically has some uh extra lethal accoutrements uh up on the uh, uh, you know on the on the back uh but yeah so there's uh, it does it is a little faster it is a little faster. But it's also a little bit smaller wow. than yeah. a typical Yeah, it's around 20, 25 percent, right? I believe, uh, smaller. Because, because yeah. Spartans are like eight feet tall, right? That is the problem, yeah. yes, uh, is if you scale it uh, to a Spartan like we have to do in our games, uh, it really just looks like you have a bunch of four-year-olds <laughs> uh, driving a Hummer, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which, while hilarious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I've seen some of the videos that, uh, that you guys have of, uh, people just sitting in the halo, Cortana's and they, you know, the that thing is, uh, the, it's mass. Oh, yeah, yeah. It it felt so like a, I do feel like a small yeah. child <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the real life. We it showed was, it in that video. Oh, uh, look at that. Let's go. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Oh, oh, oh. T, you're doing pretty well. I'm so yeah. jazzed about an this. Early, an early mishap, but I think you're making up for I, it. I want yeah. it to be competitive. Yeah, this feels good. Okay, intentional. <laughs> uh, it's a, yeah, 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 that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> Scarlet Pimple says, love the ring in the sky. They're looking, they're loving that authenticity. Do we have, uh, will Halo music be included? Uh, is, is a question. We also we do have. will hear the, the Halo it. track during this yeah. event. Yes. Wow. Oh. Yes. That's right. We, we do have music turned off right now on the show just so we can hear the engines and everything. But yes, Halo music will be in this event.
In 2016, the worlds of Forza and Halo collided when the world-famous 2554 AMG Dynamics M12S CST, that's the Halo Warthog to you and me, arrived in Forza Horizon 3. It was the first time that this iconic vehicle was drivable in a Forza game. What you might not know is that it wasn't the first time we'd seen the Warthog in Forza. Going back to 2011, the AMG Transport Dynamics 2554 M12 Force Application Vehicle was first seen in Forza Motorsport 4. It was one of a handful of vehicles to appear in what was called Auto Vista mode back in the day. It even featured a narrative voiceover by Cortana herself. The M12 Force Application Vehicle, better known as the Warthog, is a highly mobile and adaptable platform serving the UNSC. For years afterwards, one of the most common questions we had from the Forza community was, when can we drive the Warthog? That dream came to life in 2016 with the reveal of the M12S Warthog CST in Forza Horizon 3. The CST was a direct collaboration between 343 Industries, who created this version of the Warthog with Forza in mind, and Playground, who brought it to life in the game. The Warthog in Forza Motorsport 4 was a model with a density of nearly 1 million triangles. Converting it from Forza Vista to an on-track experience involved making a lot of eye candy into drive candy. The drivable Warthog is a more optimized model, containing a fraction of the number of triangles, but with the addition of full articulated suspension, damage, mud, cockpit, gauges, vehicle dynamics, and audio. The Warthog is among the largest vehicles in the game, and we were fortunate to have already shipped trophy trucks and open wheeled vehicles in the game, so we already had accommodations for large tires, track and ride height, and suspension travel. These are all things that push the boundaries of Forza's vehicle dynamics, our animation systems, and rendering capabilities. To celebrate its arrival in Forza Horizon 3, we actually had a real-life version of the Warthog visit Turn 10 HQ last year, and soon, Forza fans will be able to experience the Warthog once again in a showcase event that can only be found in Forza Horizon 4.